All right, guys, so we're going to be playing the T100 LT today. I have a total of actually 430 battles in this vehicle. I didn't even think it was that many yet. Um, I average 1842 damage with a 52% win rate, and I swear this win rate should be higher. Like, I feel like I play this thing really well. I really love the T100 LT. A couple of years ago, I've told you guys this, like every video I do on the T100 LT, and we've done a lot of them, right? Because it's the only tier 10 I have, and I want to give you guys like that top tier content because I feel like it really shows how to play a light tank right because like the higher up you go in the tiers the more tanks really get into their roles right and so like i just love this vehicle man i used to hate it a couple years ago because every single time i would take shots in it i would miss the shots i swear they like updated this vehicle or something like that and all of a sudden like it snaps so well man maybe i just was trying to aim every single shot and back then i don't even know if i ran rations like it's very possible that I just had a lot of bad luck with it combined with, I don't know, perhaps the wrong setup or I wasn't running rations or whatever. But there is literally a video many years ago. I'm, I'm talking like might even be like three years ago now on my channel. It, it might have even been a short or something like that where I missed on Abby. I missed and didn't pen like nine shots in a row, <laughs> like something like that, man. And I just, I'm, I sold it, man. I literally was just like F this thing. And I freaking sold it guys. And one of the big reasons I did that too, is because see how much freaking coin you get from selling, like, you know, how expensive the tier tens are. Um, but now that I've played this thing again, the DPM is good. Look at the dispersion 0 0.4. I swear to you, this, this is a lie. I swear to you, the dispersion, okay, maybe it's correct, but like the aiming time being 1.8, it feels like this is one second. Like I'm telling you guys, this thing, like you can turn the turret and just, and like it hits like, like half the time, maybe more like this thing snaps. Like I've never seen any, any other vehicle do in World of Tanks. And I don't care what all these people say about like, oh, like there's no such thing as tanks that, you know, have better accuracy or can put the round bit like in the inside of the reticle better like i don't care man it is the case with this tank i don't i don't care what anyone says man i swear there's like some sort of hidden values that wargaming has you can kind of look it up on tanks gg right like tanks gg has this extra um i was looking up i guess the armor on the t2065 but see how you can look up like all this extra stuff on here it tells you like certain things um specifically about like um gun traverse range and tur i guess you can look this up look this up in the game but like there's other things too like under dispersion right dispersion factors see all these things in here so like maybe you can look these up in the game and i just haven't really like went into further details but like you see what i mean about all this all these dispersion values like i guess if these are much lower then you have a more accurate gun right um and even terrain resistance like I don't know. Are these things really in, in here, guys? Because at least over here, I, I mean, I don't see much of that stuff. Like terrain resistance, you can read about it a little bit here, but I don't know. Like, I don't see this stuff unless you really have to like go into, into detail on this in here and go into like, I don't know, look at this and stuff like that, right? Traverse speed and, and, and all that stuff. But you get, you guys understand what I'm saying, right? Like even in here, there's no, there's no, it just says dispersion at hundred meters, additional information. Maybe that's what we have to do. Okay. No, like I, it's just explaining how the, the game mechanics work or whatever, I guess. So like, I don't see those values anywhere else except on tanks GG here. You guys let me know if there's like a, some extra page on here you have to go to, to see that I've been playing world of tanks for a while. And like, we just went to the research tab and I didn't see it. But anyway, guys, this vehicle, like I'm telling you, it just snaps so freaking well. And it's very versatile. That's why I like it. It has decent DPM. It has decent view range. It has decent concealment, right? It's fast AF, right? And so that's why I really, really love this tank. My uh, main setup with it is CVS, um, Bounty Optics, Bounty Low Noise Exhaust. And then we also run it um, when I don't need to spot with the improved vents, like the 8.5% vents, whatever that's called. Is it? Um, let me see. Yeah, improved. I was right. It wasn't experimental, not experimental equipment. Um, so that, and then we run it with the improved aiming class one and the bounty rammer. So a bit of a ramble there at the beginning um, of this video, but I just want to like explain this whole like gun accuracy thing with you guys, because I don't see that anywhere here. Like I really don't. 
you know i don't see any of that it's it tells you gun depression and how quick the gun traverses right and aiming time and dispersion but there's no extra dispersion values here like i i really i can hold alt again or something i don't know it just shows you like a dis it, like an example like a video example of how the tank works like how the gun works i guess like if you don't understand the game i don't see these this information anywhere like anywhere man in 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 vehicle details or like anything like that actually let's take a look at the vehicle details maybe it's in here i don't see it just dispersion at 100 meters that's it that's all i see tells you the configuration the crew so you guys let me know if i'm missing something here and i'm just a complete idiot <laughs> you know like you think you think i would know where where to find this information given the fact that i've been playing world of tanks for many years and i'm a cc i'm a technically a content creator but i don't see it anywhere so anyway we're going to get into the games guys brothers and full brothers and arms i have by the way situational awareness snapshot smooth ride full concealment recon repairs and i do have the off-road driving and then we have controlled impact and 76 percent intuition on both the commander and the what are their classifications she is i guess both the gunner and the loader is that how that works and then this is the driver okay fair enough or is that just like so it's commander gunner and driver but it's showing you here like i guess what other responsibilities they have yeah other responsibilities that's what it said right there additional duty loader okay and yeah that's it okay guys we're going to get into the games i'm like apparently learning new things that i've never known before like looking at the crew and looking at like characteristics of the vehicles but anyway if you guys want to find more information about certain tanks just go to tanks gg man um, you can see the 3D models if you're like, man, I don't know how to pen this thing. Where the heck am I supposed to pen it? And it's going to give you, keep in mind, you have to look down here. Like this is going to be 220 pen, what you're looking at, because it's going to give you the tank against itself, if that makes sense. You can like look here at the armor profile and see like, okay, maybe there's actually, if I'm really close and he's face hugging me, I can hit him like right here. You guys know what I mean? So hopefully that helps you out, man. <laughs> you know, I haven't even had my caffeine yet. I just, I got a lot of energy to really, um, give you guys a lot of information here apparently so all that being said guys we're going to jump into the games we're going to start on overlord it looks like and um you know we'll see how this goes um but yeah i just love this vehicle man we might have a really bad session guys but i just love how fast and how snappy this tank is it just makes me feel like i'm a good player right when i play it because it's so freaking agile it's just so freaking quick and yes it doesn't have like hardly any gun depression but you can kind of make it work and i'm going to keep um my cvs on because you think you wouldn't need it at this distance but it actually makes a pretty big difference right because if people are poking here you'll be able to spot them like enemy light tanks so that's what we're concerned about i'm just going to come up real quick i don't have the gun depression to do this never mind there's many and this is where the the, the tank like the gun depression man you know Look at this guy just literally jumped right over me but i like doing this because like it's very possible we'd be able to spot the manny here right outspot him being that we have cvs so i like to do that run the cvs on this map i'm just going to ping this because there's no one over here as usual yep we're able to come up actually outspot the ebr it looks like there and i'm going to start moving i'm going to start moving over here because I'm concerned no one ever wants to go over far to this corner. So I'm actually going to come over here before someone takes this. Normally I'd come back here, but I think we have somewhat of support here. We have the EBR 105 running around and stuff. I'm just going to poke here. Let's see, yeah, there's the EBR right there. So this is why I like to keep this covered, man. If no one else is going to go over here, I ping it. But it's like, what, like, what is everyone doing, man? You know, like we got a medium sitting back here. I don't know what he's doing, you know? It's like you you gotta you gotta cover the map. You guys gotta cover the map, you know. Here comes the 140. Good, we get some spotting on him. I'll just take a snapshot there, guys. Like it's very unlikely it's gonna go in, but you might as well take it. I'm just gonna knock this tree at him. Good. Good, see that? And this is why we come here. Like, look how vital this play was guys right 2150 spotting we now got out of this we got a shot into the 140 
I was like, I'm kind of hoping this guy's going to leave me uncontested over here because, yeah, now he's coming back. I was like, you realize I have the concealment, right, to poke up and, like, counter you here. You're already still targeting him. And now at this point, what I'm going to start doing is right when I start going dark, I'm going to run away from here, right? And then I'm going to try and put this rock in between me and the people here so that I don't get spotted as I'm running away, hopefully. And I'm going to come back to where the 105 is. And at this point, this is a loss, so we just have to try and get as much damage as we can out of this game. And that's all we can really do. I'm going to poke up in this tree and bush here, and we just try and hold these guys off as long as we can. This team was kind of garbage, but luckily we had some people supporting us, so we got some spotting out of it. Now we're just going to try and do some damage, and that's it. And that's all we can do. So I've spotted here. It's good info. It means likely someone's poking in this area at this moment because the Hori shouldn't have spotted me there. In theory. Let me just stay right here. Keep everyone spotted. Okay. Clean up the uh, 140 there. EBR 105, like with the most ridiculous freaking accuracy I've ever seen hits me there like somehow the he pens even though it hits like right on this line which makes no sense but i'll i guess we'll just accept it and move on there he goes again trying to hit me he missed that time though STB. We're just going to move just a little bit like this. I'm trying to get the cleanup kill on this guy. There's Hori. Okay, good. Hori's coming down, it looks like. want to try and clean this guy up if I can. It's not going to make it easy, though. Good. Bill is over here. Just sit here and keep this guy lit. Okay. Oops, spotted. Okay. That's fine. Waiting for this EBR 105 to maybe push here. And now I think what I'm going to do is try and get behind this building. Like this. Wow. I can't believe we did not hit the Hori there. Wild, wild, wild. Good. Bounce him. Clean him up. And that's the game. So we, we forced him to hit like the very corner of the tank, which is kind of cool, actually. We got 700 blocked. Um, but 1453 damage, guys, 2710 um, assist. Look, no way we were going to win this game. We did our best. I knew from the, as soon as it was like zero to five, we just have to get back, try and do some damage. And I didn't think this was a bad game. My first game of the day, right? 2710 assist, 1453 damage. That's over 4,000 combined on a map like Overlord. I will take that all day. And by experience, we were third. We had a good E5 player, a good UDAS player. Um, but at the end of the day, man, they were just a much better team. So we move on, we keep going. And um, I'm happy with that performance. It was a 10.1K WTR as well. And so my goal, guys, right now I have a WTR of about 9350 or something like that. My goal is to get to 9900. It is very challenging. Let me tell you, I've been branching out, trying to play a lot more of the Waffle Panzer, a TD, the TS-54, a heavy, the 122TM, a medium, right? I've been trying to branch out and play these other vehicles so that you'd think my WTR would go up more because it's different classes, right? And I've explained, I had a video once on WTR, right? And I was kind of like explaining to you guys like sort of how that works. Um, and so like, 
you would think if you're playing different classes that it would be easier for it to go up. But when you're not as good at those classes, see what I'm saying? So it's just tricky, man. It's very tricky. And they, they did this update where you can see like all these people that have large vehicle counts. But anyway, we're going to switch to the... It's going to be mines, guys. I'm, I'm not a fan of mines. We're going to be switching to our Vents, Aim Tuner, or Improved Aiming, whatever, and Bounty Rammer. And Bounty Rammer gets us actually some pretty freaking gosh darn good DPM. Um, I think it makes it like 26, 2700, like something like that. It's really good, man. It's really good. Um, but we're not going to need the concealment on this map. I'm going to come over to this corner. Like, this is very typical for me. Like, there's a couple other options. You can try and rush the hill. I personally never rush the hill. I think it's the dumbest play ever. If you guys want to rush the hill and risk your, you know, tank at the very beginning of the game, you do so. Um, but I do not like doing that. I think it's just a very stupid play. Because I've seen many games won even when we didn't win the hill, right? And see, if I went to the hill, I would have died. Given the, the numbers that they have over there, I would have died if we had gone to the hill. And so I think I'm much better here. I think you're going to have more consistent games. If you do rush the hill, is there a chance that you could win the game? Like, you making that play could win the game? Sure, but I'm not risk. I'm not making a 50-50 play at the first in the first 30 seconds of the game. I don't I just don't care. I don't care what people say about it, man. I really don't. So that's how I feel about that. And that's that, guys. Um, there's only TDs that have really been unspotted at this point. My concern is if we come up to where the patent is, all of a sudden, see people are like pinging me already, we might find the T95s or something. So what I'm going to do is ignore people pinging me and wait to see where what the patent is going to do. And if the patent pokes up and he doesn't really see anything. And I'm going to start going up with him. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some easy shots on like WZ as he comes up first, though. Go right here. Because this is a very good spot to get side shots. And I'd like to do that if I can. Also, if you go up to where the patent is, like what support do we have? You know what I'm saying? There's, there's like no support over there. Let me see if we can pull back and try and get shots into the sides of these guys as they're poking up here. This is a big example of the of the hill just winning, man. Like I just don't think we sent anybody out to, to other places of the map really, and we just got slaughtered. So, yeah, we're just, I mean, I don't know what else I can do here as one light tank, right? You know, maybe if it was in some sort of super heavy, I could do something here. But this is why I like this position. See what I mean? It's like easy shots into these people right here. There's just, there's no way to win this game, right? We just lost, we've lost way too many players and stuff like that. So, I don't, I don't, people can click on me or whatever, man, but like, I can only do so much. Like, the hill got slaughtered and stuff, so it's like, whatever, man. I think all our big hitters are a little too passive, too. Let's see. Let's see who's over here. I want to see this VZ. the 100 LT. Don't really have a shot. Good. Morisk goes down. Eliminated. We just have to try our best to do some damage here, man. You know, like it is what it is. Okay, I'm actually gonna come down now. Hopefully, the f will the 430 spot me from here? Probably. No. 
I'm going to try and hold this now. Here, hold this angle. Okay, I actually don't have shots on the 430, so maybe this wasn't a good angle. But I'm still going to hold this angle. Ooh, there's the S1. See, I'm telling you, the fully aimed shots do not go in, but everything else will. We got one blind maybe into the WZ, but like this is this is the game, guys. Like this is this is what you're gonna run into. There was nothing like there was no way we could have made a play that would have won us the game. There's definitely different plays that we could have made, like I could have made in this game to have a better performance, but there was no way we were going to win this game. It didn't doesn't matter what we did or what we didn't do. So eleven hundred damage, we just have to suck it up and and take the loss. Like, our team was just freaking trash, right? Like, there's just nothing you can do, man. I mean, you can try and have a better performance. I'm sure I could have made different plays to, to have a better performance there. We could have adjusted and maybe, like, I don't know, moved over to the other side of the map or something. But I just didn't see any way to to win that game, right? We rush If we rushed the hill, maybe we would have gotten a few shots off and had the exact same performance, and it would have led to the exact same um, outcome, right? So... We have a lot of people on our team that are anonymized, but that's fine. What I like to do, guys, on this map is first, I will ping, like, as I'm running over here, I like to, if you spot, well, a big reward comes to you. Okay, fair enough, man, but you gotta hit your shots. <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll, like, I'll kind of, like, ping this, just so people know where I'm going. Um, and I like to go in between these buildings. I find this is a really good spot now. I don't know what their 100 LT is going to do. He looks like a pretty good player. So I like to come right here. Knock this tree and sit like right here. And you get just enough concealment. And you can spot like IS-7. W See all these guys coming in? Doesn't mean people will get shots because they kind of changed the way the map is here a little bit. It's harder for people to get these side shots. But I like to sit here, you might be able to spot people that come up the hill as well. So I'll just kind of like do this a little bit, you know? Like look at all these people you can spot. And again, even if the pe these people can't get good damage, at least you're spotting. So like, this is what we're waiting for, the Hori. Now FE can delete this guy. Shoot. Oh. See, he's gotta be quicker than that, man. <laughs> you guys ever seen that commercial, man, with the dude that has like the, the dollar on the fishing pole, on the fishing line? But see how much information we give the team. And then what I'll do. So then what I'll do. Once I'm done here giving the team information. This is no longer my my fight. Right. So I run away. Right. First thing that went wrong is we had to spot well. See like. I swear man. People have no respect for light tanks. I just spotted like half the team. I gave all that information. We gave the whole. The information about the whole repoking there. No one could hit him. Like. I don't know what you guys want me to do, man. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? So now we're in a situation where we've sent no one to the east. Normally what I do, what I do then is I will help the east, right? So, but we have, we have no one over here in the east. So I, there's not even a fight I'm joining now. I'm just going to be here trying to spot, basically. Report T100. Like, look at this. You guys see this, man? You guys, you guys see what I what I experience, man. I'm just I'm just letting you know. I'm showing you what I what I experience, you know, in this game. It's it's ridiculous the disrespect, man. You know, it's ridiculous. The um, there's a there's a meme that I that I always think about when people do this, and it's Walter White when he um, says to his wife, "Who do you think you're talking to?" or something. The, the phrase is something like that. Who do you think you're talking to right now? And that's how I feel, man. Like, you're telling me uh, you're going to insult a 9k WTR player that specializes in light tanks? Like, come on, bro. Like, unreal. Like, I guess these people want me to go to the middle 
I, I don't know, man. I don't like going to the mid. I feel like I'm out in the middle of nowhere, so I don't like that play. Let's hit this guy. You guys see the disrespect, man? You know? I'm not trying to sound like a cocky... You guys know me. I'm not a cocky player. It's just like... It, it's pretty ridiculous, man. You know? It's pretty ridiculous. We have mediums camping in the back and shit, and it's like, oh, it's all the light tank's fault. It's it's just... It's only the light tank's fault, man. You know? He didn't spot anything. He didn't give us any information. Like, come on, bro. Give me a break. I'm trying to keep this CS63 lit. So he can't poke. To eliminate the CS CS63. If we can get rid of the CS63, we're in good shape, and then I gotta figure out where the T100 is. So I'm trying to keep this guy lit. I don't want to have to sacrifice my tank to clean up the CS63. But I'm thinking we might be able to come around, come back to like the A line and see if we can outspot the team out or LT over there. Maybe. Let's try it. I gotta try and counter this guy. Like, this is what the team has given me, right, guys? And again, I don't. Uh, going back, I'm getting serious now. Like, I, I personally think that if you cannot adjust well to your team, like, you see how people are pinging me all over the place? Like, you're not going to be a good light tank player. You have to be able to adjust pretty well to your team as well. And, like, I don't think I'm doing that, that good of a job at doing that in this game. But, like, it would be nice if people actually, like, tried to take the East or, like, did something productive. Right? It's, like, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, how people will blame the light tank for when it, it's, like, the whole rest of the team's fault, man. Right? Like, it's just freaking ridiculous. T100 LT is definitely sitting up here, though, because I was outspotted multiple times. And I don't think we're going to be able to stay here very long because we're starting to lose this as well, so. But like, you see how the, the team basically gave everything up, right? The team gave everything up, and yet it's my fault somehow, so. So we gotta try and find some place to sit, like right here or something, where we can get some spotting out of this, and that's about it, man. Like, I will take one for the team and just sit and spot at this point because there's nothing else we can do to really help this team. <laughs> so. I'm going to position myself so that when this E3 gets close, I can run. So start running now. this. Just get all that spotting, man. LT has no idea what to do. Yeah. Clearly, man. I mean, I'm... I'm. You guys know, I'm a freaking terrible light tank player, man. No, I have no clue what I'm doing, man. I have absolutely no idea how to play light tanks. No clue how to play light tanks, man. I just, you guys know this, but... Oh, man. Absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, man. So, just giving you guys examples, man. Like, you trust me? I, and I even will admit to you guys, I'm not a Unicom player. I'm a good light tank player, right? I'm a good light tank player. And you're still gonna get shit on, you know. It's just it's just the way the way the game is, man. 
Like people, people are every time someone plays a light tank, people are expecting them to be absolutely perfect, right? At playing a light. And we got patrol duty out of that. It's like, I don't know what you guys want from me, man. I really don't. Fosh had a pretty good game, man. It's a pretty good player. And look, like people will reach out to you. Thanks for being AFK, kid. You know, like, bro, like, I, I don't, I don't get this, man. Like, look, this, he's a good player too. Like, explain to me how you wanted me to play. You, you are good player. You are a good player. <laughs> also, nice joke about my win rate. It's like, you guys see what I'm saying, man? Like, you definitely, if, say, Ayuxin was playing this game, would he have played better than me? Sure. But, like, <laughs> I just don't know how else to phrase this to you guys, right, man? Like, imagine a player that's average at light tanks playing this game and how much they would probably get crapped on, you know, or if they died at the beginning of the game. You know, what's even more funny about that, guys, is I find that players that play light tanks actually bad never get shit on. It's only the players that actually are smart and try and stay alive in their light tank that get shit on. Right. And like, I don't think we played this that bad. What were we supposed to do? Go to the mid? You know, we can go to the mid. I personally don't like that play because I find that once you're spotted out there, you're SOL. So I don't like making that play. We gave the team a lot of information at the beginning. Then we tried to go over to the other side of the map and join the fight. We got a couple of shots off. We spotted, right? We were, we were contesting the CS63. Then we moved to contest even more the T100LT. So I, I made multiple um, contests or however you say that. So like, I don't know. You guys, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys explain to me how I could have played that drastically better to have given the team the win. I think we did okay. I really do. I think we did fine. Like, I just play it like I play any other game in a light tank. And like, I didn't think we played that that bad. We'll play one more for this video. But please, you guys, you guys let me know in the comments. If you think I played bad, played that bad or could have done better, be honest and let me know. But the way I saw it was that the team did not put themselves in good positions, right? Like we j literally just left the one side of the map wide open. And then even then, when we sent a lot of people into the city, they still got beat there. They got, they got, you know, outplayed and outclassed. So it's like you, you can sit there and, and try and think of how you could have played better all you want. But if the team is not good, right? Like Light tanks are support tanks, man. That's what they're, they're made to spot, right? You're not made to suicide. You're made to spot when it's necessary. And we gave the team a lot of information at the beginning of that game. And we spotted the Hori and no one hit him, you know? <laughs> and then the FE appeared there. Maybe we could have stayed there. It's like, people are telling me I'm AFK. It's like, are you are you watching me on the map? Or like, you know? I just, I don't get it, man. I, I will never understand these people, man. And it's, the guy that messaged me is a really good player. You know, so it's like you you must understand that how to play light tanks well, you know, or you're just expecting me to be like Ayuxin or some shit, you know, like a really 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 good player, and I'm I'm not, I'm I'm not a I'm not a freaking Unicom player, man. I mean, I think I'm I'm closer to that than most people, but. What is this guy doing, man? Just get shot to this badger. So, this is going to be... Back to the <laughs> session, guys. This is going to be Pearl River, right? And what I like to do is get initial spots here. I'm hoping someone is going to hit this badger. I don't have the pen. And it's rare that you see people sit here like this. Like, dude, if this badger was like a waffle panzer or something I can actually pen reliably, this guy would be toast. But the badgers have really good armor, so.
don't want Fosh getting lit. I can't tell if he's spotted. I don't think I could pen this guy, man, even with the, the gold rounds, so. I don't think it's going to happen. Let's see if we can put our gun by the city. By the middle. I think that's where we're going to need to start doing damage. I want to try and support these guys before they fall. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's our easiest shot? Here. Spotted or no? no? Let's get right there in the E100. Okay. Fief okay, he's gonna no, stay like that. <laughs> okay, not spotted from that either. We're not going to be able to pen the E100 in the cheeks. Spotted from that. Okay. Where do I need to go to win this game? Do we go back to where the heavies are? I think we need to go this way. I think this. I'm going to stay with the TVP and just support the TVP. Because we have all our people over here. TVP gets one more, he should go down, and I'm going to move now. I, even if I have to take a hit, it's fine. I need to get back over to the heavies, because that's where our team is. And I need to start adjusting better to the teams, because apparently I don't know how to play light tanks. So, Wildest session I've played in a long time, let me tell you guys. Wildest session I've played in a while. keep moving. Come back over to the heavies. The E50M or the E50M and the TVP like SOL man, sorry. Like I need to I need to get out of here and start helping the heavies, I think. Really don't poke on my part. Oh. I didn't think the 60 TP was that far out. I don't think I can do anything to this guy, to be honest. So we're going to sit back here like this. I'm going to sit here and just try and support the E50 then, because I can't do anything to the 60. Goodness gracious, man. I want to come back to, like, right here. These guys come around the corner, and we should be able to light them for, like, the TVP and stuff. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we can sit, like, right here, maybe. Yeah, there's the 140. Shouldn't be spotted taking this shot. trying to hit me though these badgers man have really good freaking armor I think 
if I go right here, I might be able to hit him. Damn, dude. Now I can pen him from the side. Let's see. Okay, put one right there. One more. Okay, I'm gonna go now, actually. Around. I, I'm not even sure if he'll spot me from this distance. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Go back to APCRs. Oh, thanks. Someone, someone will support me. Someone's actually being friendly today. Round of applause for our E50M, man. I want to poke this to see, like, I want to figure out where the gorilla is and stuff like that. They all come this way. I don't want the gorilla to end up behind me is my problem. I think the 140 retreated. TVP will give me that information any second. Yeah. So now we go back. Or back this way, I mean. Just want to try and stay where my support is. So I'm going to try and like go like this, I think. They should be back trying to defend the base at this point. If you have a really fast tank, you can actually jump right up here, like this. Like that? I don't know if you guys knew that. I do that a lot. <laughs> E50 crashed. <laughs> I hope that doesn't throw us this game, man. Where are these guys? That's where I sit, so I'm just taking a shot there to see. I'm not even spotted, so where the heck are these guys? Okay, the Artie's back there. The APCRs are so fast, I literally put that too far in front, I think. There's the 140. Where is the gorilla? That's like the biggest, my biggest concern right now is actually the gorilla, because I don't want to get hit by the gorilla. I'm about to find out where he is any second. There he is. Did he fire? I can't tell. Gonna let the E4 go around. Gonna give him time to go around. And then right when he's coming to the corner, I'm gonna poke again. And let the E4 take that cleanup kill. You should get him now. Glad to take it myself. After these last three games we played where I don't know how to play a light tank, apparently. But hopefully I redeemed myself. I don't know, guys. Again, like I could be wrong. I don't <laughs> Maybe going to the mid was a better play, but like I just played that I just played the game, the the second game and the third game, how I would pretty much play lights, like like how I would always play lights, man. And apparently this guy has no advice for me. So I don't know, man. You know, it's like what whatever people think, man. You know, I guess I guess if people think I'm a bad light tank player, I guess I am. Um, 3,400 damage, guys, and 997 assist. So after the after the first three games, man, like, I think we kind of, I could say we redeemed ourselves, but, like, I still don't feel like I played that bad. We did 1647 damage, um, and we averaged 1792 assist. It's a WTR of apparently just under um, 9,000, and 
I'd like to be a little bit higher than that, but like these games were tough, man. Again, like the third games bothered me the most because multiple people saying I'm I'm a bot or whatever and like AFK and like I don't see that. I thought we played it pretty well. Maybe we could have went to the mid and played it better. Um, Mines was a really tricky one because on Mines, um, we they sent so many people to the mid and like the entire team just got wrecked, right? And there's only so much I can do. I think we from that location did the best we could, but I probably should have moved elsewhere. The Overlord battle, again, was going to be a definite loss. I think we actually played that one really well. And I think we played the, the last one well as well. So again, be honest. You guys let me know, especially in the third game, could we have played it much better? Did I miss something? Did I did I just completely miss something on the map? Please let me know um, so I can improve myself, right? And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one in the T100 LT. I'm going to be bringing you guys a good amount of sessions because I'm going to be on vacation, um, not this coming week, but the week after. So I'm going to be doing the T100 LT and we'll play some other vehicles as well. Catch you guys for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.